could be sand, could be rocks, or a mixture of both. It could be a basement job, or a land clearing contract, or the kind of road work where a scarifier could be used. Could be the kind of road work you think of for a highway, county, or private road project. Could be a landscaping job of some sort. Could be backfilling in close quarters. Filling in trenches. Almost anything you can think of might come your way someday. So any man who has a reasonable regard for a dollar would look for a machine that would do any or all of those jobs and a lot more. Not four separate machines with a sizable capital investment for a bulldozer and a bull clam and a clam shell and a front-loading shovel. Not all four separate units with money tied up in three other machines while only one of them is working. Not that at all. Instead, a smart man would look for the one machine available that would do all of those jobs as if it were built for each one. Not a cobbled up compromise. This is a four in one. Exclusive in its field. Exclusive in the earth moving industry. The wise man will find them only at his international drop distributors where he can look at them closely or arrange for a demonstration on his own kind of work. When he looks at the machine closely, he'll find printed right there on the hydraulic cylinder the four types of work done by this one machine. Move the indicator down from rollback to the bulldozing position and you're all set for as fine a job of dozing or grading or spreading as you ever saw. Furthermore, you can adjust the depth of cut by the angle to which you roll the blade. Move the indicator down to the bull clam position and you've got a bull clam shovel. Here, the clam acts as a depth gauge to preset the amount of dirt the dozer blade will dig. Then when you've got a full load, close the clam part of the bucket, roll the whole bucket back to the carry position, way down, close to the ground. Semi-skidding on the skid shoes, as a matter of fact. And you've got an ironing action from the transporting plate that smooths the way ahead for the crawler itself. When you move the pointer from the rollback down to the skid shovel position, you'll have a front-loading shovel, either with or without teeth for the work you may want to do. Again, once you've got a full load, roll the bucket back on those fulcrum-like skid shoes and semi-skid your load to the dumping point. This may be a method for transporting a load you're not familiar with yet. Reason it out for yourself. Can you imagine an easier way to carry a load? Easy on the equipment, easy on the tractor, easy on the operator. You just slide the load along, like a kid's sled in the wintertime. When you move the indicator clear down to the clamshell position, you've got a hydraulically powered clamshell bucket for picking up loose loads, plus the rollback and low carry semi-skid transport with a higher lift for dumping than you may have ever seen before. Bottom dumping, this clamshell, gives you up to three feet more height in the clear for the bigger, higher trucks, even with sideboards they're using these days. Well, that's the way this machine will work for you. 12 months a year on any jobs you may have within the power range and capacity of this crawler mounted equipment. Now, it just wouldn't be practical to show you every type of work these versatile machines do. So bring your own imagination with you.
the several representative types of jobs and see what these international drop four in ones can do for you. Suppose you're just starting a basement job. And as usual, there are a couple of obstructions you want to get out of the way. Go ahead, do it. Use the versatility of the machine to help you remove trees and stumps. You'll be interested to know that all working positions are controlled from the driver's seat by two simple levers moving through just six positions. Pull this lever back to you and you raise the lifting arms. Move it forward, away from you, and the arms drop down as far as you want them. Pull it to the side, in to you, and you roll the bucket back to you. Move it out and away from you, and the bucket swings forward to the front end loading or dumping position. The second lever farther back controls the clam action. Move it out, away from you, and the clam moves out away from the operator to open. Pull it back to you, and you close the clam bucket. It's just as simple as that. Now, suppose you're all set to skim off the topsoil. Here's another operator's helper. A scale at the back of the dozer blade that will let you set the depth of cut quickly, conveniently, right from the driver's seat. Set it for one, two, or three inches, whatever you wish. And the clam moves out to give you just that depth of cut. Well, of course, you can change the angle of the cut by the amount you roll back the dozer blade to suit whatever the ground conditions are where you may be working. Uh, say you want to skim two inches at first to kind of level off the ground at the same time you're cutting out the grass roots. Go right ahead. It's just as easy as it looks. When you get on closer to the subsoil, you may want to take a shallower cut so as not to mix the topsoil with the sand or clay down below it. Do it from the driver's seat. Notice the way the dirt boils up in the bowl, just like the best designed international scrapers? When it rolls over like that, you know it's saving power. At the very same time, it's giving you full loads every time. And check that straightforward loading on the go. No stopping and shifting and backing and turning. Full bucket loads, straightforward every time. And that low carry on the skid shoes means minimum weight for the tractor to carry. No strain on the equipment, best visibility for the operator, and no spill out of the load. Then too, the unusually high lift, either forward dump from the bucket or bottom dump from the clamshell, lets you make higher piles to save you travel time again as well as pile area in tight spots. When you get down into the subsoil and can fill the bucket heaped every time, you're almost sure to want to use the bottom dump to save working space on the job site, to save travel time, and save needless wear and tear on the operator and the equipment. But recognize the great big advantage of having to lift the load only as high as you want to. That low, low carry, plus the low dumping height, can save you miles of vertical travel every day that you use these international drop four-in-ones. Now, when you are working in tight against the wall of the excavation, you'll notice another advantage to that rollback action of the bucket. You get a powerful pry-out action, just like a crowbar to fill up the bucket. And the bucket is much closer to the tractor to help to improve the balance of the machine. That low down fulcrum action lets a little guy pry much more than a big guy can lift. Well, you know the principle. 
Here it is at work. That's a full 41 degree tip back at ground level, for your information. And it takes that big an angle to give you fully loaded buckets each time, and no spill out when you're carrying. Now, maybe this afternoon you've got a backfilling job to take care of. Different requirements, but the self-same equipment. Certainly, go ahead and doze where that is the best way to handle the dirt. When you've filled in enough for the crawler to work on, use the four-in-one like a shovel. And as a skid shovel for carrying in the dirt from piles farther back. Semi-skidding again, down low to the ground. Semi-floating on the skid shoes and the hard ground underneath. Now you take a tight situation like this, where you're working close against the new masonry wall. Well, naturally, you don't want to damage it with this powerful equipment, so the clamshell is your best bet. Bite off a load, roll back and carry. And watch this. Spread the topsoil on the run with the bottom dump advantage. One man and one machine doing many jobs superbly well. Far better, in fact, and certainly far cheaper than many men on hand shovels and in infinitely less time. Well, just imagine how handy that would be on a landscaping contract. Want a doze for a driveway or some similar kind of road work? Go right ahead with your versatile four-in-one. Just one machine that does all of the work that formerly called for four separate pieces of equipment. Even with teeth on the bucket, you can readily see they'd be up out of the way. Now watch him adjust the blade to control depth of cut. Radius control, they call it, right from the driver's seat. It's so easy to iron out the rough spots and practically build your own work road all at the one time you're doing the job. 